thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean life. Girl I know I can explain look <laughs> I know I said last episode was like the series finale in which it kind of was um, and it is the season finale but girl last week I was thinking I'm just like okay I just thought about a whole new story time that I totally left out so first of all if you're new thank you so much for watching with Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like I didn't did a whole about to be 20 part series real soon about these crazy people that I allowed to move in with me and girl it was a whole mess so if you want to know how all of that went from the first part to the last go ahead and watch those other videos after you watch this video because this video isn't really any like continuation to any other story time it's kind of a story by itself that I just totally forgot and also hit that subscribe button down below that way you can be a part of the family and be in touch with everything I got going on and I also want you to hit that thumbs up button that way you girls get out here in these YouTube streets and last but not least go ahead and turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified when the next time your girl post the video also if you're not in the close friends i am getting ready to close the close friends real soon um because we have made it to over a hundred a hundred close frienders okay so uh, i think once we get to 150 i'm gonna shut it down um and we are over 100 now so girl i know y'all looking at the title of this story like angie how the fuck you forget that look listen i'm gonna explain it's not what y'all think i mean it is but it ain't let's just get into the video so steven if you're new to my channel steven is the son of my infamous crazy nastiest roommate named katrina so katrina had a couple of kids some of her kids lived with us and one in particular her oldest son steven which i named for the purpose of this story time series even wanted a damn snake for his birthday bitch now i don't know why what possessed him to want a snake girl i didn't even know that he wanted a snake until they motherfucking bought the snake to the house now this was actually before darius up and left by the way um so this snake was purchased early on and whenever i say darius darius if you're new to this channel darius is katrina's boyfriend well used to be boyfriend now baby daddy he up and left us and her girl was crazy like i said go to the other story times if you want to see how all of that unfolded before all of that unfolded darius purchased katrina's son steven he bought this boy a whole damn snake and girl we're gonna give the snake a name because the snake had a name for real for real but i ain't gonna give the snake the actual name for the sake of this story time we're gonna call the snake bill so little bill <laughs> little bill was purchased for steven's birthday and they were showing us the snake oh look at the snake and girl i was just like mm -mm, that's one thing i don't do i don't fuck with snakes <laughs> like i don't fuck with snakes at all like for what because what is the purpose you know what i'm saying like i'm just i'm honestly <laughs> let me just keep it real i'm not an animal person at all as y'all can see by my last story time I, I wasn't fucking with no dogs and i'm damn sure i ain't fucking with no damn snakes so i really thought it was pointless to have a snake but that's what the boy wanted and that's what they got not only was the whole having a snake thing weird to me what made it even weirder was that they were feeding the snakes frozen mice bitch like uh, it's making me itch just thinking about it and i i didn't realize this until one day bitch i go in the freezer i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna take out of the freezer to eat or to cook or whatever why the fuck i see a whole mouse in the freezer bitch like a whole mouse in the freezer that disgusted me and i'm just like can y'all do something with this shit i understand this is snake food and stuff but that shit is nasty i don't want to open up my freezer and see a motherfucking mouse i don't give a fuck if the bitch dead or not like that's just gross so i was really freaked out and grossed out about that and i'm just like y'all gonna have to like tie that bitch up double bag it triple bag it quadruple bag it i don't know do something to where i don't know that is what it is like i just i don't want to know what it is just just do something with it okay so girl one particular day i overhear steven telling one of the kids that he couldn't find bill cut the cameras boy what you mean you can't find this snake what do you mean how did the snake get out the motherfucking cage like it was a hot ass mess i'm gonna get to why the snake kept getting out but I was mortified because I'm just like, what do you mean you cannot find this snake? And bitch, when I mean they couldn't find that snake, they couldn't find that snake for a good little minute, bitch. It had to have been at least about a week. The whole week, making sure, you know, ain't nothing in my shoe. Girl, I don't fuck with snakes. <laughs> I don't fuck with snakes. And 
Katrina was just so calm about it. And I'm just like, why the fuck are you so calm? I'll be fussing and cussing like, if y'all don't find this motherfucking snake, talking about the snake don't bite, bitch, I don't give a fuck. If it don't bite, the motherfucker could hiss. And if it could hiss, to me, it could bite. And I'm not taking that risk. Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't give a fuck if it's a baby snake. Cause it, they did get the snake when, the, when it was little. But bitch, that snake grew pretty, pretty, pretty fast, okay? real fast so i wasn't trying to hear none of that it don't bite shit bitch i don't give a fuck you need to be in a damn cage finally like i said about a week later they found the damn snake and the reason why they found the snake is because one of them days steven was chilling in his room and he just heard something fall in his closet bitch tell me why the snake at the top at the most top of the closet bitch Thank God it didn't leave Steven's room. But that's what I was saying. Our doors wasn't like all the way down. Like it still had a little crack, a, a little crack and a crack underneath the door. So I'm just like, that motherfucker out here. I just knew the snake was no longer in their room. I just knew the snake was somewhere, somehow. I just couldn't, couldn't put my finger on it. But I just knew that snake wasn't where it was supposed to be but thank god it was at least in steven's room and he did find it when he found that thing i said look i don't know what, what you got going on but you need to you need to keep up with your snake and come to find out the cage was like somewhat broken or something it, like it wouldn't latch or the latch wouldn't stay or, girl i don't fucking know but whatever it was the shit was broke and that was the reason why the snake got out in the first place so i don't know what they did they nigger rigged it somehow to keep the cage down for the time being but bitch them lost and found games that that snake did not stop there let me just continue so one of these days i'm you know at the house chilling and i noticed all of the children are in steven's room like crowded around the damn cage with a snake at and so i'm just like what the fuck is going on now I ain't going to room cause bitch, I ain't fucking with that snake. Like when I mean I ain't fucking with that snake, I'm not fucking with it. So <laughs> I'm at the door, I'm just like, um, excuse me, what, what's going on? Like what y'all looking at? What's the commotion? Girl, they talking about some, ooh, Steven, he's about to feed the snake a, a live rat and we're watching the snake eat the rat. What, a live who? Why is it live? Why isn't it unalive? Like. I'm not getting it. Like, why y'all switching it up? At first it was a frozen snake, now it's unfrozen. I'm like, oh, okay. So y'all got a real mouth. Why y'all switching it up? Steven told me the reason why they started to feed the snake real, like live rats, was because snakes stopped eating the unalive, frozen ones. And I'm just like, you bougie bitch. The nerve of this snake to have a preference. Um, yeah, see, that's why I don't fuck with animals. Like, bad enough, I gotta worry about my kids being picky in this. And you mean to tell me a snake have a preference? The snake prefer a live one over a dead? Like, girl, please, like, pay a fucking bill before you start <laughs> suggesting shit. Because how the audacity of that snake, <laughs> it was the audacity. But, girl, I'm just like, all right, you know, that's a little bit weird, but you know, okay. And they come on, do you want to see it? The fuck, no. I could, Google it on YouTube and see it. Girl, I don't wanna see that shit. Bad enough the motherfucker in here. I don't wanna see it. Like, mice, rats give me the creeps, bitch. Like, I, I can't, I can't deal. So hell no, I didn't wanna watch that shit. So girl, one particular day, um, it was the morning actually, right before I was getting ready to get up and um, clock in, cause y'all know I work from home. And at the time, in the house that we were living in, which was still in Katy, Texas, um, my office and my desk and stuff looked like that was downstairs. So, you know, it's the morning. I'm trying to be quiet, make sure I don't wake the baby up, shit like that. Because at the time, my son was young. And I didn't turn on the light in the bathroom because I'm just like, bitch, I, I don't really ever turn on the light because our bathroom has a window in it. And when it's daylight, bitch, it's, you know, whatever. But... It still was a little dark. So my bathroom area where the toilet was was kind of like separate, but it was still in the same room or in the bathroom too, but it had its own door. So I kind of had the door a little cracked. So I really couldn't see nothing in the area where the toilet was, unless I was to leave and go in the other part. But yeah, where I was, I couldn't see nothing. The light was off. I had no reason to turn the damn lights on. So, you know, I'm on the toilet or whatever, scrolling on my phone. And I just felt something on my foot, but it wasn't, 
no urgency to like oh let me see what this is because i don't know if it's just me or what but y'all ever felt like something was crawling on y'all but it really just was like i don't know bitch your skin your nerves your bitch i don't fucking know but it just felt like something you know it just feel like something's crawling on you but you know nothing is crawling on you it's just your body right so i thought it was one of those bitch but then it happened again <laughs> it happened again and i'm just like what the hell so you know i'm thinking maybe it's a little spider or something you know even though I, i'm terrified of spiders but you know i'm just thinking maybe it's just a little something something so i didn't go to turn my light on my phone girl it wasn't a spider it wasn't a fucking spider bitch it was worse because it was a fucking rat all i seen was a damn white rat with red eyes bitch i could have died i mean maybe i did i just knew my soul left from my damn body bitch i panic i scream so motherfucking loud mind you it's early in the damn morning i don't give a fuck i scream so motherfucking loud bitch and to avoid my feet from touching the ground because i was so motherfucking scared i like literally sunk myself <laughs> in the toilet girl i sunk my body into the toilet so that my feet could like raise up on some shit it's dumb as hell because bitch i don't even know if my ass touched the toilet water i don't fucking know none of that mattered at that point because all i was trying to worry about is my feet not touching a damn rat like oh a rat literally touched my skin that was worse enough i ain't gonna fuck about no damn toilet water touching my ass i'm screaming my husband's name i'm like babe I am screaming bloody motherfucking murder, bitch. Imagine somebody literally in the damn toilet as if their ass got sucked in the toilet <laughs> while screaming because they're scared as fuck and they don't want to move. Girl, I'm screaming my husband's name because he's asleep. And so I'm screaming and he eventually woke up and he's like, what? What's going on? And I'm just like, it's a fucking rat. I see the rat. We got rats. And I'm just going on and on and on about this damn rat, bitch. I'm like, come get me. I need you to come get me. I'm like, because I'm not leaving this damn bathroom without you coming to get me. I don't know where the fuck that damn rat at. The hell? I don't even want to touch this floor. The whole damn floor <laughs> contaminated if you ask me. That's how I feel. So my husband finally comes and he trying to see if he can find a damn rat. I finally got the courage to get my ass up and, and I hurry up and ran into that damn bed because I did not want to touch the floor. I didn't know what a damn rat was. I just hurried the fuck up and got into that bed. While my husband is trying to look for this rat, I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm like, hell no. Fuck that. We got a damn move. I can't believe we got damn rats in this house. I just knew the whole place was rat infested, bitch. You couldn't tell me no different. I'm just like, we got to motherfucking move. We got to break this lease. I'm gonna fuck. We leaving. I'm not staying. I'm not spending the night here. The fuck y'all think this shit is? I'm not doing that. And so all of a sudden, my husband said, wait, this probably little Bill food. And I said, who? Oh. As it started to come together, bitch, I also started to get pissed off because I'm just like, I know, I know you motherfucking lying. So, girl, I stormed my ass to Steven's room, and at this time, he wasn't up for school yet, but it's almost time for him to get up for school. I knocked on that motherfucking door, bitch, and, well, I don't know if I even knocked on the door, bitch. I'm pretty sure I did. Now, I opened up that damn door. I said, Steven, and he... Hmm. He sleep, bitch, so he could barely hear me, but he could hear me at the same time. So I'm like, Steven, did y'all happen to have a live rat in the house that y'all fed the, the snake? And y'all know what Steven decides to say? Oh, yeah, we did, but I couldn't find it. Mother you couldn't find it? So you mean to tell me your black ass went to sleep peacefully knowing there's a rat roaming around this motherfucking house and you ain't tell nobody? Oh, girl, that made me even more pissed off. I said, Stephen, if you don't get your ass out that damn bed and go find this rat because the motherfucker's in my damn room. It touched my foot. Bitch, I was mortified because now I'm just like, okay, good, thank God we ain't rat infested. But goddamn, bitch, this would not have even happened had Stephen just not had the motherfucking snake. Or better yet, Maybe if he was a little bit more responsible, he would have told an adult or he should have made it to where that rat did not get out. But I asked him, I'm just like, how the fuck the rat get out in the first place? Like, I thought y'all buy rats as he eat, but apparently they bought an extra rat thinking he was going to eat some more, bitch. Y'all already know snakes don't eat that much. That rat probably held him down for that whole motherfucking month, bitch. I ain't much gonna lie to you. I'm like, okay, so how did the rat get out? 
and Steven's like, oh, well, I couldn't find a lid to the jar, and I guess he jumped out. Boy, yeah, of course the damn thing jumped out. Rats can jump. Like, you do know that rats can fucking jump. And then also what irritated me so much is whenever I initially asked him about the whole rat, before he even got out, out the bed, he just casually said, oh, yeah, we, we lost the rat. We couldn't find it last night. My nigga, what do you mean? As if it was just a normal thing, as if it was just like, oh, I lost a sock, you know, whatever. <laughs> but whatever, you know, it's not that big of a deal. The fuck? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, especially when it comes to a motherfucker like me. I don't play with creatures. I don't play with no four-legged nothings, okay? Nothings, all right? You hear me? So as my husband and Steven are looking for this rat, bitch, I'm noticing it's getting a little close to the time where Steven got to go to school. I told Steven, I said, look, I ain't much going to lie to you. You ain't going to motherfucking school till you find this rat. I ain't much going to lie. You ain't going nowhere. So I politely text his mama. I said, look, so-and-so happened because she was at work at the time. I'm like, look, a rat was in my room, freaked me out, almost died, <laughs> my dramatic ass. I'm just like, look, I, I, was, I, I was terrified. Um, but Steven, he don't have to stay home so he find his rat. And she was totally fine with it. She was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just like, mm -hmm, yeah, sorry, a little bit too late. My blood pressure didn't raise up. Like, I'm petrified. And then it was time for me to clock in to work. So, bitch, as they upstairs looking for the motherfucking snake, I'm downstairs. I'm still out of breath. Heart still beating out my motherfucking chest because I just... I literally thought we was going to move out. Like, <laughs> I, th I thought it was over. Maybe about an hour or two later, they finally found the rat. And the rat then made its way into my closet, bitch. That I don't know how or when. But apparently in between the time that I scared the rat. Cause I'm pretty sure I scared the fuck out that rat too. Just like that rat scared the fuck out of me. And he made his way away on the other side of our room into our closet. So, I'm just glad they found that rat. And unfortunately, that was not the last time that that rat got out or a rat I should say because I'm pretty sure that rat got eaten up within the next couple of days after that damn shenanigans <laughs> moving on to the next situation this we were living in a whole new house at this point my room was downstairs and everybody else's room was upstairs Steven still has a goddamn snake bitch he, he's a snake was still holding on Bill was still holding on okay and they were also still feeding Bill the same way you know live rats or whatever and then the fact that like my room is downstairs it also really didn't bother me sometimes i forgot that we even had the snake because my room was downstairs so i never really truly went upstairs unless it was like to wake the kids up for school or some shit like that but i out of sight out of mind this one particular damn time i just hear the kids they upstairs screaming i'm just like what the fuck going on girl i go upstairs and the kids are in katrina room and katrina mind y'all katrina and her kids they weren't at the house it was just my kids so I'm just like, what are y'all doing in Katrina room? Oh, we trying to get the rat because the rat escaped again. I'm just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Again, my room was downstairs. So I wasn't as petrified as I was last time because I also was thinking like, I don't think rats could could go downstairs, right? Like, I feel like the stairs are a little bit too steep for them. I feel like if they try to do it, they would fall. I don't know. I, honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure rats can very much so climb up and down stairs but that was just my logical thinking i think i was just thinking about that to make myself feel better my kids was fighting for their life trying to get that rat and at this point i'm like yeah okay now it's getting ridiculous so i ended up texting katrina and i'm just like oh hey the rat got out again you know um just fyi and she just like oh i'm sorry the cage is broke and I gotta get it fixed out, out, out. now mind you before this situation even happened my husband told Katrina what she needed to get I forgot what it was she needed to get but he told her if you get this so-and-so part I'll be able to fix it for you did she get the shit hell no nah, she ain't get the shit at all so that's what made me even more upset about it because it's like damn bitch you just really don't give a fuck between you and Darius y'all got the snake for him so I would expect for her to at least make sure the snake has the right supplies and necessities to make sure the motherfucker don't get out Clearly at this point she didn't give a fuck and that really pissed me off. Finally my kids found the rat and shit child and put the rat back where it belonged. Snake actually ended up getting loose again but in the new house. Um, still same shit a couple of days couldn't find a snake. Me I wasn't worried cause I'm just like 
ain't no way that snake gonna come down these stairs. <laughs> the stairs was my way of coping with things. I'm like, no, that thing ain't gonna come down them stairs. No, it ain't gonna come down the stairs. Bitch could have came down the motherfucking vents. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I was trying not to think that deep and trying to make me feel better about it. So, yeah, they ended up finding the snake. A whole nother scenario. Katrina would always walk around with the snake and be taking the snake with her to go, you know, do certain things. This one particular time, Katrina went to go pick up a damn nigga. So she decided that she wanted to bring the snake. She wanted Bill to be a part of the, the, the little ride or whatever. So she brought the snake with her. She come back at the house with the nigga. She go upstairs with the nigga and then realizes that she left the snake in the car. So she tells the kids, hey, can y'all go find the snake? I left the snake in the car. The kids go down and, and whenever I say the kids, I mean her kids, that is. Her kids looking at her car, trying to find the snake, can't find it. <laughs> they going up and down the stairs and they mama room like, oh, I can't find it. I can't, still can't find it while she in the damn bed with a whole man like girl if you don't get your ass up and try to find that damn snake they eventually found the snake and i think the snake was in the motherfucking hood bitch i don't remember i really feel like it was in the vehicle itself some type of way uh, i don't know how that shit happened but they finally found the snake um and then moving to the end of the life of this snake <laughs> i realized that Katrina was putting this motherfucking snake in the damn windows, bitch. Like, I would come home in the daytime from going to the store or something, and I realized the kitchen window is up, and I go in the kitchen, the motherfucking snake in the window just laying there. I asked, I was like, oh, why the snake in the window? <laughs> and she was like, oh, it's losing its um, skin or the skin was shitting. Or so I don't remember exactly what she said, but something about the skin was shitting or wasn't shitting, one of the two. Um, and the reason being was that the snake did not have the light. Now, originally the snake had a whole red light in the cage or whatever, but the light bulb went out and instead of Katrina just replacing the motherfucking light bulb, she decided to put the motherfucker in the damn window, bitch. I don't know, but they kept taking the snake out. The snake was always getting lost and shit. And then eventually one of these days, the snake died. <laughs> um, I, I forgot how I found out. I'm pretty sure my one of my kids told me but they was like yeah the snake died and i asked steven what they did with the snake after the snake died and he said he just threw him in the trash and uh, put him in a dumpster so yeah that's the snake <laughs> um we all know where the mice went but yeah that snake couldn't hold on the more poor thing ain't have the environment to live you know he was in the dark he was cold i think that's another thing that they said that the snake needed heat which I think that's what the light did. Um, the light that they had in there that went out. I think the light was supposed to give the snake some type of heat, bitch. I don't know. Whenever they said the snake died, I was like, oh, that that's crazy. You know, I didn't really give a fuck. I was kind of like, yes. <laughs> no offense, but yeah. Only because they wasn't taking care of that damn snake and shit kept getting loose. And girl, they need that snake in the first place. So, you know, clearly the snake was better off where it went. That was a little quick story time that I thought about. Remember, if y'all have any questions, that y'all want me to answer in the conclusion little reflection video or whatever definitely put that in the comment section or write me on instagram thank y'all so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already hit the thumbs up button that way your girl can get out here in these youtube streets and turn your post notifications on so that you can be notified when the next time your girl posts a video i love y'all so much and i'm see y'all next week